A Tarawana woman says she camps outside her daughter's school each day, all day, in case her child needs help. The teen lives with a condition that affects her mobility, and her school struggles with accommodation. CTV's Andrew Brennan reports on their story and what they hope can be done. Honey, do you need me right now? You can find Michelle Cousins here every school day, in her van, down the street from her daughter's school. Colette is 14 years old, in grade 9. She has atherogryposis, which affects her mobility. I'm the one who greets her when she gets off the bus. I help her get into the school. I help her take her coat off. I give her a kiss and she goes in. And then I hop back in my van and I find a parking spot. She waits for her daughter to call to use the bathroom. Normally it would be a task for educational assistance, but this cousin says is the best way to ensure her daughter's dignity until the board finds a workaround. She says she tried to flag issues last October before Colette was accepted to Marshall McLuhan in May. Cousin says she was told in June everything would be ready for Colette in the fall, but found out otherwise the day before school started. Grab bars weren't installed. The elevator company didn't come in and inspect the elevator to modify it. And of nine educational assistants at the school, only two, she says, are able to lift her daughter. If there is a fire drill, she says the plan she had to sign off on was leaving Colette in a stairwell. Students with disabilities are treated like an afterthought. An advocate who was on a committee to address accessibility barriers in education says the Ministry of Education has been sitting on recommendations for months. And individual parents from one end of this province to another have to keep fighting those barriers one at a time. Education Minister Stephen Lecce's office says it's consulting currently with the Ministry of Seniors and Accessibility. The Toronto Catholic District School Board says it wouldn't comment on this specific case, but did say the school has an elevator, accessible washroom, and an operable Hoyer lift. Support staff are also available and assigned as needed to assist any student that may require accommodations. Cousin says she disagrees with much of that. Right now, she is searching for a supplier, waiting for new equipment to come, then tested, and then for staff to be trained. We're playing catch up. Now they're working tirelessly, and I do believe individually they do care, but I just sit there and it's just a mess. Cousin says she and Colette picked the school in part because of the environment, the programming, as well as the administration and staff. But she says that she expects to be waiting outside of the school in her van just in case her daughter needs her, at least until Christmas, for the resources that she says are needed for her daughter to attend school independently. Andrew Brennan, CTV News.